Okay guys, if you have made a rocket like I showed how to do in my previous video, then naturally you'll be curious to know how high exactly did it go. Well, instead of having to buy a $50 or more altimeter on like Amazon or something, I'm going to show you a way to find the height that costs nothing at all. The only necessary piece of information that you will need is the total flight time in air from takeoff to landing. To do this, you can either use a stopwatch, or if you filmed it, it can see it land, then you can time it later from that footage. If you watched my last video, you might recall that in the second demo, the landing was caught clearly on camera. So after timing it multiple times from that video, I determined the total flight time to be roughly 12.15 seconds. Now we will need to use this piece of information for step one. The equation we will be using is A equals VF minus VI over T. A represents the acceleration due to gravity, VF represents final velocity, and VI represents initial velocity. Of course, T is time. So let's fill in what we know. Well, we know the acceleration due to gravity is negative 9.8 meters per second squared and the VF is going to be zero here and the reason why it's zero is because when the rocket reaches its max height it's going to momentarily pause before it descends back to earth. VI of course is just going to be X because that's what we're solving for and if you remember back from earlier I said T was 12.15 seconds for the entire trip so we'll, we're going to say T is going to be 6 0.08 seconds and that's because that's half of 12.15 seconds and we're assuming that the rocket will take 6.08 seconds to the top or at max height and 6.08 seconds back to earth the reason we can make this assumption is because all all projectiles are going to take a parabolic path of course this will be neglecting air resistance so therefore our calculation of the height will be a very close approximation and not exact. So from here we could simply solve it. So let's multiply both sides by 6.08 and we do that we're going to get negative 59.584 that equals 0 minus x. Subtract 0 from both sides and you get negative 59.584 4 equals negative x, therefore x simply equals 59.584 meters per second. This is representing our initial velocity. Okay, now that we have solved for the initial velocity, we can use a new equation for the final step. The new equation is final velocity squared equals initial velocity squared plus 2 times the acceleration due to gravity times displacement or which in our case is going to be height. So let's fill in what we know. Well we know final velocity is 0. I discussed that earlier. And initial velocity we solve for. That's 59.584 so that's squared plus 2 times and the acceleration to gravity is just negative 9.8 meters per second squared and D is what we're solving for and that's the height. So from here I'm just gonna square this and then subtract it so that gives us three five five zero point two five plus two times negative nine point eight times D equals zero so Subtract that from both sides. And you're going to get negative 3550.25 equals 2 times negative 9.8 times D. So from here, we're just going to multiply 2 and negative 9.8. And that gives us negative 19.6. So negative 19.6 times D equals negative 3550.25. Lastly, we'll just divide by negative 19.6 on both sides. And our answer is going to be, let's see, 
So we will get D equals 181.14, and that's meters. So that's the height of our rocket in meters. To convert that to feet, we just have to simply multiply by 3.28, and we can find that our rocket went 594.12 feet. If you think that's pretty cool, in my fourth demo, if you look at the video based on my audio, it's safe to say the rocket's flight time was somewhere around 15.8 seconds or so, which would translate to roughly 1,003 feet. This just kind of shows how the rocket's heights can vary drastically, and it all depends on how well you construct each individual rocket, and of course if you scale up or down in size.